breaking the barrier I'm running 20 minutes in a 5k it's breaking the barrier of your mind because when you start up that fast pace and shortly after your lungs start to burn your legs start to burn your stomach starts to turn and every signal that's being sent to your brain is telling you that we can't do this this is too fast you gotta slow down we can't sustain this pace are you gonna have the mental fortitude to bypass your body's natural protective mechanisms and keep pushing towards your goal what's good family welcome to run jlc you about to get right to these strategies that's gonna help us break 20 in the 5k let's roll all right man that first strategy is pretty simple you got to do the work and trust the process of that work and in all honesty if you do the work that's required of you even if you have a not so good plan chances are you're gonna be in the right shape and fitness to break 20 in that 5k now you gotta do the work and you gotta trust the process of that work and that process is the training plan now i get it things are gonna happen life is gonna life the compliance ain't gonna be perfect but that does not give you the excuse to not put in the effort that's required of you you still gotta put that effort in and i know it's gonna be tough days it's gonna be days where you're not hitting the paces that's prescribed for you or the effort that's prescribed for you is just gonna feel off it's gonna feel way harder than what it should but you put in the work regardless and trust the process and trust that because you adhere to the plan that your body is gonna make make the necessary adaptations to make sure you right to break that 20. And while we on the topic of talking about work, let's look back at Tuesday and see what work I had in store for me. And then we gonna get back to the next strategy. All right, let's get it. What's well, good, family? Tempo Tuesday, we got cruise intervals today. Three by eight minutes, two minute rest. Uh, we gonna get right to this warm up. But yeah, as we got on the schedule today, I'm back at sofa for whatever reason. So normally I have my clients in the morning before I uh, get to this run. And I didn't demonstrate very many exercises today. Doing a lot of standing, maybe it's just the standing, but my lower back is pretty sore right now. So we'll see. But I already got some dynamic movements done while I was in the gym before I came up here to try to loosen my back up to see if that'll help i guess it helped a little bit but i'm still feeling it right now so we'll see um not too bad right now as i'm jogging but uh we'll see how it goes so it's gonna be an interesting workout today of course i did my mile time trial so that time i got has pushed my uh training paces a little bit faster so i was in that range of uh like 721 down to 711 right now i'm more in like the uh 655 to 705 for like my threshold paces so it's a lot faster than uh what i have been doing these previous three weeks so we gonna go for it I'll probably catch up with y'all between intervals and that'll be that for the day. All right, pray for me y'all. Let's get it. All right, y'all warm up complete. We got these cruise intervals in three, two, one. Let's get it. All right, y'all first rep is done. Probably average about 703 in that rep. 
so it felt, felt pretty smooth for the most part. So we gonna keep it about right there. If I can go a little bit fast, I will, but I like where I am right now. So on to the second, y'all see y'all there. All right, y'all two down. See, I got like 656 on that set. So we moving, got one to go. Let's get it. All right, workout complete. 30 minutes all together, 4.18 miles covered. I think it was like a 7.11 overall average. So, solid work today. Very solid work. I didn't know how I was gonna handle it, but I did pretty damn good. That last, uh, that last eight minute rep, I think I averaged like a 6.53, close to 6.53 on that one. So I got a little bit faster as I went, which is good. That's what I want to see. So. Just build on this, man. Still gotta get my cool down there, so I'm gonna do a mile and a half there. And then I'm back to the crib. Get some food in me, get some drinks in me, and just recover from there. But I will see y'all on Friday. Freaky fast Friday. I don't know what the workout is yet, but we'll get to it when we get there. All right, y'all, I'm out, peace. All right, family, we back. Got to journal that process, man. Like I always say, if you're not assessing, then you guess it. And if you guess it, you probably not progressing. Got to get you a journal. And if you do have a journal, I hope that you writing down more than just how long you went and how fast you went in each run and workout. You gotta make sure that you're writing down how you felt before, during, and after each run. You wanna jot down all the little successes of every workout and all of the little things you need to improve on in every workout as well too. Journaling, it, it allows us to see the bigger picture, right? We think linear, or excuse me, we think pro, excuse me. <laughs> it's hard to talk and run at the same time, but we think progress is just a linear situation. Meaning every time you step out to run, you should improve every day. It's not how this works. It's gonna be a whole bunch of mini ups and downs. And you are gonna see it, right? It's gonna be a lot of ups and downs but the trend should be upward. And you should see that in your runs. But if you're journaling correctly, you should also notice that in how you respond to the small adversities, to the little problems or the things that you need to improve on. You should see how you are mentally getting better how you're reacting and responding to those good days and bad days. Your journal will show you that, and you can look back and see your improvement. Cause there will be days where you're just thinking that you're not improving and that you're stuck, but you can go back to that journal and you can see how far you've actually come up to that point. Now I want y'all to see what I was journaling about on Friday and then I'm gonna get back with y'all on this next strategy. All right, let's get it. What's good, family? Another Freaky Fast Friday on deck. Matter of fact, this is a Freaky Fast Fuente Friday. I hope I said that right. But yeah, it is hot out here today. It's hot and humid. And I'm about to be on this black ass track. It's gonna bring on more heat, but it is what it is. Just the way life is set up right now. Me and my wife are kind of on different schedules. She's at home with the kids. But she got stuff to do after a while and I need to be at home with the kids while she leaves and do what she need to do. So that means I have to run this uh, freaky fast workout at the hottest part of the day. Not the way I would have drawn it up for myself, but that's just how life be sometimes. So we gonna roll with it. But it's the same workout as I did last week, that fart lip workout. I won't go through it again right now. I'll just post it up so y'all can see it and the good thing about that is it was a fairly quick workout so i'm not even gonna do 
as long of a warm up or a cool down as I did before, just so I could try to limit my time in this heat and on this hot ass track. But uh, we gonna get right to it, man. I'm gonna get myself set up and then I'll just uh, go through what I need to go through when I'm running the workout. So y'all give me a sec and I'll see y'all then. All right, peace. All right, family workout begins now. Alright family workout complete. Just under three miles. Pace about 650, I want to say. Not sure if it was faster than last week or not. I haven't checked the stats yet, but all in all, it was a good workout. Track was definitely hot, humid out. But we got the job done. Um, I think now obviously I'm gonna head home so I can be with the kids hydrate get some food in me and later on i'll probably hit the backyard when it cools off a little bit swing the kettlebell around some get some strength work in that i didn't get a chance to do this morning and that will complete my freaky fast for wente friday but yeah all in all good day and i will check in with y'all on sunday for the long run all right man y'all be cool peace breaking the barrier Running 20 minutes in a 5K, it's breaking the barrier of your mind. Cause when you start up that fast pace, and shortly after, your lungs start to burn, your legs start to burn, your stomach starts to turn, and every signal that's being sent to your brain is telling you that we can't do this. This is too fast. You gotta slow down. We can't sustain this pace. Are you gonna have the mental fortitude to bypass your body's natural protective mechanisms and keep pushing towards your goal? Are you gonna have the fortitude to talk yourself out of easing off the gas? And are you gonna have the fight mantras to recite to yourself when that pain starts to get unbearable? I suggest that you do because you're gonna have to have a strategy to override all the negative chatter that's going on in your mind that's gonna tell you to slow down hell it may even tell you to stop but if you have the right fight mantras you can get whatever that extra is out of you that needs to be had to keep pushing through now, mantras are really just a word or maybe even a phrase that you can recite to yourself when your runs are starting to get too difficult. And this should be something that's, that's personal to you as well too. There's many uh, popular phrases, uh, popular words that you can adopt, but you wanna think back to times where you've overcome difficult situations in the past and you want to have a word or a phrase attached to that so you can always come back to it so when you're in the pain cave as they like to call it or the 5k you can remind yourself of where you've been and how you've overcome before and use that fight monster 
to get yourself breaking through that barrier. Now, once you've got your mantras all together, the last part is you have to trust in you. You have to trust that you are capable enough to get the job done. You have to trust that your body is strong enough and it's gonna hold up enough for you to get what's yours. You have to trust that you set this goal for a reason. And deep down, you know you the man or you the woman for the job. And you have to give yourself a chance. You have to give yourself a chance. That's all it is. You have to make a decision that I'm gonna go get this today. Despite all the pain, despite everything that's going on, I'm gonna give myself a chance to break this 20. And I'm gonna trust that I'm capable to do it this day. And that's what it is, man. I'm gonna leave y'all with those strategies for the day. So I wish you luck. I'm gonna finish up this long run. And I'm gonna catch up with y'all at the end. All right. All right, family, long run is complete. Total 9.26 miles, 8.59 per mile. I hope you got some out of those strategies that I shared with y'all. And if you rock with me all the way up to this point, I appreciate y'all for doing so. Please, if you got any comments or suggestions of mental strategies that you rock with that helps you break through different barriers, put them down in the comments. And please, please, please like this video, share it with your run buddies. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing to the channel. The majority of the people that I get that's watching these videos aren't even subscribers. So if that's you, think about joining the family, subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to support the channel, click on one of the ambassador links in the description for discounts off your athletic brewing and you can products. Thank you in advance. That's it for this week, family. I'm Ron JLC and I'm signing out. Peace.